Hey everybody, welcome to the second episode of Swotor 6.0 Onslaught. I uh, messed around with a few settings, including sound. Hopefully the conversations will be a little bit louder now. Usually I have them down just because I'm PvPing and stuff, and I want you guys to be able to hear me over top of all the sound effects. But for the storyline, it makes a little more sense to turn things up. Alright, so here we are in the Senator's office. Nobody really to talk to. I'm just kind of going to explore a bit. Take in my surroundings. Ooh, a phase. I guess another, um, another one of the Noble Council's office. We'll probably go out here later. Oh, this is where we came in. Okay, cool. Isis, that's right, Isis. I remember that. That's the, um, obviously the city we're in. The main city on Onderon. Somebody else over here, too? Surprised there aren't more people here, I guess. Um, it is, I guess, Sunday afternoon, late afternoon. And it's been almost a week since the expansion came out, so maybe a lot of people have done the storyline already. Even so, with ults and things, maybe there's just like a lot of instances. All right, let's go ahead and uh, advance things a bit. This whole like place is making me so nostalgic because of um, I can't remember if I read the original comics that took place here, like with Reed and Adnall, or if I just read about them so much that it feels like I have. Thank you. Glad to be here. But I definitely played through um, Nice Still Republic too. Where you spend a lot of time here in the city. I wonder if the layout will match. Even if it doesn't, though, kind of. I'm not against that because um, I'm gonna ride around a bit. Got a medical droid. I guess that's where we respawn. Is that a quick travel point? No. Oh, I wonder if that's where you get like daily missions later on. I said mission board. Um, since it's a big city, it doesn't really have to like match the place you were at before. You just said it was a different part of the city and. It's the old Republic. Unlike like um, Red Cliff and Dragon Age, where you go to this whole city in the first and third game and they don't match at all. Okay, so there's the um, crafting trainers in case you need to level your crafting skills. I've already done that. So I do enjoy crafting. Some more vendors over here. What do they do? Reputation vendor. Well, let's take a look at what they sell. Nice to see customers. Even though I have no Can rep I yet. Do I wonder if I'll get some of that through... Um, through the story. By preview. There we go. Oh, that's cool. I like that guy. Uh, monument. Can I not preview it? How do you preview this? Oh, there we go. Cool. I won't look at all these, but. Feel free um, to browse. Oh, huh, he's right there. <laughs> oh, he's in a bubble. Can that be a mount? The heavy Arcanach? I've got good suppliers. I bet you Only it is, or will be. Here. Just not from here. Best oh, we have another reputation vendor. Oh, it's some... Um, what is this? Every third activation... Oh, that's kind of cool. That could be useful for... Not for a sage, but for a lot of other classes. Um, let's see what the gear looks like. Eh. <laughs> not that great. Not a big fan of the shoulder pads there. And what about this outfit? It's simple, but kind of cool. All moddable and bound to legacy in case you want some new legacy gear. Of course, Appreciate your business. it sounds like all 270 plus gear in this expansion is legacy, which is really nice. It makes things really convenient. And what is this? A data pad. It's not going to give me a um, new codex, but I already know about that, so I'm not going to bother reading it. Retrieve historically significant artifacts. Alright, well, I'll accept that just in case. We happen to find them along the way, but my goal will be the storyline. It sounds like the storyline is right up here. Nope, that's a dead end. Okay. What about over here? Amplifiers also know about them. Kind of. A little bit. Let me just check the alley. This seems like a good spot for like something suspicious. Like another part of the storyline, like meeting somebody back there. But we'll see. Commander, it's good to see you again. You must be Arn. Uh, yes, Arn Perallin. I uh, look forward to learning from you. Great. Well, uh, let's get started. Sounds good. Uh, so, where should we start? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry if the volume cut out for a second there. I clicked on the uh, recording volume accidentally. 
Why don't you walk on through what you're doing out here? Right, of course. I, I checked in with the guard station up the street, and, and now I'm going to check the walls for... Uh -oh. We're under attack! Everyone all right? You two get to the palace. Coordinate with Lana. Right away. Arn, are you ready? Arn! I'm ready. You're heading for the explosions? Of course. That's what I do. Um, wonder he's attacking. This will be interesting. I'm glad things are kind of heating up now because so far it was sort of, you know, it was it was the pregame. Um, also, it looks like Arn might be suffering from some uh, post-traumatic stress or something because he's definitely seen combat before. Clearly, severe combat, but uh, seemed a little shaken by the explosions, and very understandably. That's usually where the fun is, right? Enjoy. Let's move. All right, that sounds a little out of character, but anyway. Defeat the untamed invaders. Oh, are the untamed? Don't say I never did anything for you. Um, there they are. There's like a gang. No, I'm thinking of the beast riders. Oops. Yeah, I don't think I've actually read the original comics. I just read like about them on Wikipedia. Hey, Darren's here. Um, okay. Where did you come from? Is that part of the story, or is that just, like, the companion I had out at the moment? Any idea who these people are? Afraid not. Some of them are wearing Onderonian uniforms, but the rest, no clue. They're definitely headed for the palace commander. We'll slow them down as best we can. So the, um, let me just see if I can change companions. Um... Mm. Uh, um, looking for Tao. That would be ideal. Are there a contact, not actually a companion? Um, All right. All right let's bring Lana with me because she's see. actually like here on the planet at least. I don't see Arn anywhere. Yeah, this will help. Where are they? Don't like make you use Tao as the companion. All right, Lana, you and me then. Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, this will help. Oh, am I jumping down here? Oop. So there's an. Okay, what does this say? Seal the gate. So there must be a control around here then. Okay, the purple dot is over. Oh, duh, went right past it. You guys are probably screaming at the screen. And then follow the invaders. Yeah, this will help. The arrow seems to point. Aha, here we go. Into the sewers. Very cool. We're gonna have to see how the uh, TK spec compares in terms of leveling. It's our new ability. Uh, it's called Bolt Rush on Girl's side. Here it's called Telekinetic Blitz, which always makes me think of the song Ballroom Blitz, so that song will be stuck in my head for the next few years. That's okay though, it's a good song. I'd say somebody should do a parody of it, but Telekinetic ballroom have very different syllable counts, so we do TK Blitz. TK Blitz. Anyway. I promise, well, I promise that it's very likely to be the only thing I will do in this Let's Play. I am a slightly better soldier player than I am a singer. I'd be glad to know. Okay, so I was thinking maybe these guys have something to do with the Beast Riders. Maybe they're like a group of Beast Riders. They, um... Beast Riders... We're, I think, good guys, or mostly good guys, or, you know, just people. Um, in the original storyline, like the old comic books, I think it was based on around, like, a Beast Rider leader and, like, a Princess of Andra marrying, like, a Romeo and Juliet West Side Story type deal. But, um, 
and like when they reunited, that kind of brought the society societies together or something like that. I don't know if the Beast Riders. They, I think they appeared in Code Tour, but only like as people, like NPCs, you could have some conversations with. I don't think they were like a major part of the actual storyline. I'll have a TK wave in a second. There it is. You know what I should do, actually? Now that we're defeating people, let me hit a Renown boost. A Renown boost. And we have a guild perk here in Remnants of Hope. Which you can use for one hour every six hours and gives you another 25% Renown boost. Which is good, because I'm only Renown level 2 on this character, so... Just hit 70 uh, a couple days ago. I really haven't played my Sork Sense since I was using him for an op last night. I want to get him to 70 or 75 pretty quickly. Not sure what that's going to do. So, because it's a story mission, this doesn't seem to be too challenging. If it is, I have a lot of companions that are a uh, higher rank than Lana. Basically, I got 8 of them to 50, and she is not one of them. That's why she's at like level 6. Companion level 6. Alright, let's put a dial on him, use some buffs, use some faster. I guess I have a reasonable adrenal. Might as well use that. One thing I don't like about TK is that, uh. that a lot of our abilities are casts, so there's so many times where you're like casting an ability on a low health enemy and they just get killed, which is just so like, uh, I don't know what the word is for it, but it just sucks when you're like casting something and then it's useless because it doesn't even go off. Oh, we can, um, I was going to say salvage, we can bioanalyze these guys for materials. Are they new materials? Uh, do we even get anything? Huh, maybe not. Also have the Sage buff, or the um, Sage Raid buff, Force Empowerment. But I can only use that once every five minutes, so I might save that guy for a boss fight. Into the palace, oh we're under the palace now, uh -oh. although I'm not sure who's in the palace. Also why is my lightsaber invisible? That's no fun. Not sure what these guys are trying to do here. Anderon was one of my um, favorite areas in in uh, Kotor 2. Sorry for breaking your CC a lot, of, but he's the only one left. It was a really great game. It was it's a shame that they kind of had to rush it, especially the ending. Um, because while as Kotor 1 was like a very clean game, very traditional Star Wars. They really pushed the envelope with KOTOR 2, and I think a lot of people, myself included, really appreciated that. It was a much deeper game. Ramonda, you look... different somehow. And you arrived even earlier than my most ambitious estimate. You look different too, and I don't even know who you are. That's... it's really weird seeing the hologram on the droid. I think I'd remember meeting a... you... before. We'll have an opportunity to get reacquainted later. In person. I'll see to it. The firing sequence is already locked in. My calculations leave no room for error or intervention. You may defeat my remote droids, but not before the orbital defense cannons obliterate the Republic fleet. All units, begin combat recording protocol OREC. Let's see what you're truly capable of. Had some tight flashbacks there. Alright. I'm not sure this is really a boss fight. But I do see a gold mob over there. So that's their plan. Pretty simple, but makes sense. Sneak in, take control of the uh, cannons, and use them to obliterate the fleet. Alright. Let's see what you're capable of now. Let's go ahead and use the sage buffs. Let's... Might as well. And with the cooldown. Or the um, the length of the buff we get from our ability from TK Blitz, you can actually mix in I think one ability in between each shot and still get the full benefit. Should she be stunned or it be stunned? Yes. Very impressive. So the trick seems to 
B, like use it once, use an ability, use it once. There we go, just like that. Impressive. Well, that was freaky. Republic fleet, raise your shields. Imperial forces set the planet's defensive guns to fire on you. I'm disabling them now, but they may have other tricks up their sleeves. Understood. Shields up! We'll pull the fleet to a safe distance and maintain alert status. Tau, this whole attack was a diversion. The Imperials tried to use the defensive cannons to attack our fleet, but I managed to stop them. That's great to hear, but I'm not sure anyone told these guys they're just a diversion. <laughs> Think you could give us a hand in the throne room? On my way. That uh, Zabrak fleet guy looks familiar too. I feel like he's been kind of a, an extra in a lot of these storylines. Or is it Zabrak or Iridonian? Iridorian? I think Iridonian. I think the Zabrak are like the one, the subset of Iridonians that have like the tattoos like Darth Maul or something like that. All right, it's up there to the Collector, but let's stick with the storyline here. Yeah, if you guys haven't played KOTOR 2 yet, then I definitely suggest playing it. Um, even though it's it's not quite as polished as the first one, it's just it's such a great game. It, in my opinion, it's even though it's less perfect, it's actually better than the first game if that makes sense. But um, if you haven't or if you don't like uh, watching, if you don't like playing old games, because it's a very old game, then like I said, I have a let's play up that you'll probably enjoy. Just search for like Aravale Kotor 2. I'm sure it'll come up. He was a Koru. Leader of the Untamed. They followed the old ways of the Beast Riders, or at least their version of the old ways. I was right. Commander, I am Senator Nabet. I thank you for your heroism and your timeliness. The deadliest of the attackers were his followers. They're violent isolationists that want all off world influences killed or driven away. The rest are the King's own soldiers, led to their deaths by Petrif himself, and some kind of droids I don't recognize. The droids are Imperial, remote piloted. I fought more of them in the control room for the orbital cannons. They actually spoke to me. The woman controlling them claimed to know me, but I didn't learn any more than that. The coded messages. The Empire must have convinced Petrif that we were plotting against him. Before he retreated, he kept ranting about reclaiming his throne. Though how the Empire could have gotten the Untamed to fight alongside the King is beyond me. Let's see to our wounded, and determine the extent of the damage. Then we can reconvene to discuss strategy. The death toll is still being calculated. At the very least, hundreds of guards and civilians have died. Damage to the city itself was minimal. They attack so quickly that we hardly engage them before they reach the palace. Our ships in orbit got through without a scratch thanks to the commander. They should finish refueling within the hour. Then your mission here is over? I wish we could stay to help, but with the Imperials heading for Corellia... We should stay. We have to stay. Yeah, I definitely hope there's more to do here. I agree. We should stay and help. It's not just that. The droids that attacked us were being controlled remotely, and you said they spoke with a woman's voice. Darth Savick is the new Dark Council member in charge of scientific research. I read about her in Nostaral's files. She uses droids in all of her missions. And I had a look at their internals. The signal range isn't far. That means Savik is on this planet as we speak. A Dark Council member could tell us a lot about the Empire's plans. If we can find Savik, she'll know which of our other fleets they're targeting. Aha. Uh -huh. What else do we know about Darth Savik? Not much. She seems to avoid the spotlight. Master Nostaral suspects she's quietly deleted records of herself from across the galaxy. Only fragments remain. We can start with King Petrif. If the Sith are manipulating him, they won't be far. He was last seen heading toward his royal hunting lodge. If you're crossing the Onderan Wilds, you'll need guidance. But fortunately, I found just the help you need. Jakaro, C2D4. <laughs> It's it been a long be time our indeed. Great pleasure to guide you across our beloved Underon. I actually forgot about those guys. Good to see him again. You two know your way around this planet. <laughs> we are the masters. My oh. countless tales of service to the late Queen Lena. Ah, for the days when I had limbs. 
Don't start that again, droid. We'll leave you to that. It's best if Arn and I stick around to hold the line here in case the imps make another attack. But don't hesitate to call if you need backup. I assure you, Master Jedi, they're in the best of hands. Well, hands. Droid. Of course. To the Royal Hunting Lodge. All right. Well, I was kind of hoping for like a big fight in the throne room, just like in Kotor. But anyway, still excited that we get to stay here a bit longer and I guess go out into the jungle. Um, all right. Well, since that's the end of that mission, let's go ahead and pause here. Uh, I will see you guys again very soon.